Hello everyone. Welcome to the new lecture on medicinal chemistry. This is me Faraz Gurban Rajpar and in this video lecture I am going to discuss with you about the medicinal chemistry of loop diuretics. There are the different example of loop diuretic like furosemide, bumetanide, ethacrylic acid and others. So in this video lecture I will discuss with you about the basic chemical structure of these diuretics and their structure activity relationship and also the chemical synthesis of the furosemide diuretic. Furosemide. Furosemide is one of the well-known example of loop diuretic. This is the chemical structure of furosemide. Its chemical name is the 4-chloro. This one 4-chloro. N for furoyl. This is the N for furoyl. 5-sulfomoyl. 5-sulfomoyl anthranilic acid. So this is the chemical name and chemical structure of furosemide. In this you may observe that we have the chlorine at the fourth position and the second position we have this furfuryl that is the heterocyclic ring and at the fifth position we have the sulfomoyl group. Synthesis of furosemide. As far as synthesis of furosemide is concerned, it can be synthesized in a simpler manner from the 2,4-dichlorobenzoic acid. So this 2,4-dichlorobenzoic acid can be used as a starting material for the synthesis of furosemide. This 2,4-dichlorobenzoic acid is treated or reacted with the chlorosulfonic acid and ammonia. We, these are the two different steps or we can use these two simultaneously in the single step when these chlorosulfonic acid and ammonia are reacted with the 2,4-dichlorobenzoic acid then it will get converted into the 5-aminosulfonyl 2,4-dichlorobenzoic acid. So this is, will be the product of the first step. When this product, that is the 5 amino sulfomyl 24 dichlorobenzoic acid, is reacted with the furfuryl amine, then it will get converted into the furosemide. That is our desired product, that is the loop diuretic. Now let's check out the reaction mechanism that is involved in the synthesis of furosemide. This is the very first step. This is the chemical structure of the 2,4-dichlorobenzoic acid. Benzoic acid is, you know, that uh, in which the benzene is directly bonded with the carboxylic functional group. That is the benzoic acid. And once benzoic acid is being substituted at the second and fourth position with the chloride, it is known as the 2,4-dichlorobenzoic acid. This 2,4-dichlorobenzoic acid is reacted with the chlorosulfonic acid and ammonia. Chlorosulfonic acid and ammonia. And now it will get converted into this type of product. That is the 2,4-dichloro-5-sulfomyl benzoic acid. You may observe that the structural changes that have occurred due to the reaction with chlorosulfonic acid and ammonia are the uh, involvement are the impartment of this functional group that is the five position sulfomyl moiety and the next step when it is further reacted with the furfuryl amine or that is the furine 2 ail methane amine this one this is the heterocyclic methyl amine that is the furyl amine when it is going to react it with the 2,4-dichloro-5-sulfomyl benzoic acid, then this will attack at this position and it will get converted into the product that is the furosemide. So, this is the 4 chloro n furfuryl 5 sulfomyl anthranilic acid. This is the product that is formed by the reaction of the 2,4-dichloro-5-sulfomyl benzoic acid with the furine 2 ail methylamine Bumetanide. Bumetanide is an also another example of loop diuretics. The chemical structure of bumetanide is given here. This is its chemical structure. Its chemical name is the 3-butylamino. That is the presence of butyl side chain at the third position amino group. 
because this butanide comes under the class of the 5 sulfomyl 3 amino derivative of the loop diuretic. Uh, the, it, beside this, it has the fourth phenoxy. Uh, this is the fourth position. It has the phenoxy functional group or the ring. And the 5 sulfomyl, 5 position have the sulfomyl, and this is the benzoic acid. So this is the overall chemical structure and chemical name of the pupentanide. Pupentanide is one of the loop diuretic that comes under the class of 5-sulfomyl-3-amino benzoic acid derivatives. So this is the positioning or uh, the numbering of the bumetanide. This is position 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Ethacrinic acid. This is also another example of loop diuretic. The chemical name for ethacrinic acid is the 2,3-dichloro, 4-methylene butyryl, phenoxy acetic acid. So overall, the ethacrinic acid is the phenoxy acetic acid derivative. Means this is the example of loop diuretic that is comes under the class of phenoxy acetic acid. For your understanding, I have mentioned the different colors in the chemical structure and chemical name of the ethacrinic acid so that you can understand its chemical structure clearly. Like this red color region is indicating the 4-methylene butyryl part of the ethacrinic acid chemical structure. So at this, this is the fourth position. We have this methylene butyryl that is the side chain ketone present in the thacrinic acid structure. Well, you may observe that this ketone is the unsaturated. And beside this, this blue part region is indicating the phenoxy acetic or the oxyacetic acid region of the thacrinic acid. And beside this, at the second and third position, we have the halogen atom. These are also essential for the loop diuretic effect of the ethacrinic acid. So this was all about the medicinal chemistry of loop diuretic. In the next video lecture, we will discuss about the structure activity relationship of the loop diuretic.